This MTG box analysis will focus on the opening of a Zendikar Rising bundle that took place on June 3, 2023. We'll begin by comparing the cars that we saw inside the box to the cars that we were eligible to obtain out of a draft booster pack. Then we'll examine set coverage, coverage by rarity, and duplication. Then we'll review the current market value of the set and break down the actual observed value for the bundle in a summary. If you want to go deeper into the analysis and see all of the metrics for this box and more than 100 others, simply join the channel at the Give Me the Data level. Let's get things started by reviewing the contents of the bundle in comparison to the cards that we were eligible to see. Using this chart, we can see the foils that we observed in orange, the non-foils in green, and the cards that we could have pulled out of a draft booster pack in gray as the baseline. In the non-foil space, we saw a variance of nine cards between the primary colors of Magic, with green having 27 and white only having 18. In the foil space, we saw two cards inside of these 10 packs. This chart does not include the 20 foil and non-foil basic lands that were included inside the bundle. Removing all duplication, here's a look at our coverage of the set. We saw 127 unique non-foil cards, giving us 41% coverage of the 313 cards we could have pulled. Our highest coverage among the primary colors of Magic was in green with 53%. Pivoting the coverage by rarity, in the non-foil space, we saw 69% of the commons and 30% of the uncommons we could have seen. We also saw 8 rares for 10% coverage and 2 mythics for 8% coverage. Excluding the land pack, we saw 35 cards repeated 56 times for a box duplication rate of 29%. Despite this, we didn't see any playsets today. Now before we take a look at the value in today's bundle, let's review the market value of the cards in the Zendikar Rising set. This chart shows all the cards that you can pull from a draft booster pack using non-foil market prices as of June 2nd, 2023. Currently, there are six cards valued over $10, including the Showcase, Omnith, Locus of Creation at $10.33, Aisha, Soul of the Wild at $11.27, the Standard Frame, Omnith, valued at $11.98, the Ancient Green Warden at $13.11, Agadim's Awakening at $14.78, and the Seagate Restoration at $16.80. The set also features 9 cards valued between $5 and $10, and 27 cards valued between $1 and $5. The remaining 271 cards are currently valued under a dollar. If you were to add up the market value of all 313 cards, you'd be looking at a grand total of $255.64 in market value. So how did this box perform? Well, I purchased this bundle from trollandtoad.com. Their price for the bundle was $34.95. However, using a promo code, I was able to save a little, making my price $33.20. You can use my code MTGBOX5 to save 5% off any item directly sold by Troll and Toad and support the channel at the same time. Today's bundle contained 10 packs with 15 cards each, allowing us to see 150 total cards. The value of the lands in the bundle shocked me a little when I was going through the pricing. The full art lands average out to be about 17 cents a piece, whereas the regular frame basic lands have an average value of 75 cents a piece. This is probably because there's only two places where you can pull these lands, and they're inside the bundle that we opened today or set booster packs, and therefore they're a little bit scarce. Now, the total value of the 20 non-foil and 20 foil basic lands, plus the 10 full art basic lands and the Charx promo, comes up to be an astounding $27.66. The 9 tokens that we saw today are valued at $1.74. The 98 commons that we saw are valued at $3.42. The 32 uncommons are valued at $10.82, thanks to seeing the two most valuable uncommons in the set. The eight rares that we pulled are valued at $10.82, thanks mostly due to the Branch Loft and River Glide pathways. Finally, those two Mythics are valued at $7.83 combined. Add it all up, and the grand total for this bundle comes up to be $61.94 in market value, which is a gain of $28.74 over the price I paid, and means that this box returned 187% of my purchase price in card value. Now I get it, it's very unlikely that I could sell those basic lands for their full market value. So if we back out all of the lands completely, the market value of the cards inside of just the 10 draft packs comes up to be $35.82, which is still a small gain of $2.62 and a return of 108%. This pretty much makes this bundle a wash and just a fun little box opening experience.
Thank you so much for watching. I want to take a moment to give a special shout out to all of the channel members. Your support helps fund this operation and allows me to create the content that you all enjoy. If you're not yet a channel member, I invite you to consider becoming one. By joining, you'll gain early access to videos and many other perks. If you're interested in supporting the channel but don't want to become a member, there are several other ways that you can show your support. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue with the channel. Thanks again for watching, and until next time, do something amazing.